Hey, welcome back to another episode on Genealogy TV. I'm so glad you're here. I am here at a historic Oakdale Cemetery. We're gonna talk about how to calculate the birth date on tombstones when all you have is uh, the, the, the years that the person has aged, months and days, but there's no birth date on the tombstone. We're gonna to talk about that here in just a minute, but first, if you are new here, my name is Connie Knox. I am a lifelong genealogist here to help you go further faster with your family history research. Now, uh, don't forget there is a newsletter, a website, and a Facebook page. Links for all of that are in the show notes below. All you gotta do is click the show more button so you can see all the links that are available. Also, if you like what I do here, please give us a thumbs up. Also consider becoming a channel member. Now, this is a beautiful cemetery, but uh, there, considering the age of this cemetery is very, very old, and there are a lot of the older tombstones that have the person's you know, death date, but it doesn't have the birth date. So we're gonna talk about how to calculate that right over there. Hey, here we are at Julia Norton McRae's uh, tombstone, okay? And she died in Carbonton, North Carolina on July 28th, 1867. Okay, and she's age 32, eight months and six days. So it doesn't give us the birth date, but we can calculate that at a website called timeanddate.com. Now there's a lot of calculators out there, but I, this is the one I like. They're not a sponsor. I'm just, I'm just saying, this is a great website for uh, calculating time. I think these uh, websites came along originally to help people uh, calculate the uh, pregnancies, um, but we use them. <laughs> <laughs> for just the situation. So when you go there, you go to calculators and you hit the drop down uh, to where it says uh, date calculator, add or subtract. And you click on that. And once you're there, you enter the date of the tombstone and uh, when the person died, okay? And then you subtract the years, months and days and it will give you the date of birth. So it's rather cool. So I just wanted to give you that tip. I can't guarantee this website is absolutely accurate, but I think it will help you out a lot. So uh, I hope that was helpful. If so, give me a thumbs up and you know, hey, consider becoming a subscriber or, and or, <laughs> consider uh, becoming a channel member. You'll get early release of the videos and uh, for the information access level channel members you can also get all the handouts when they become available all right so there you go and that's how you can calculate the birth date on a tombstone like this <laughs> 